right, 25 minutes before 10 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. You know, one of the, one of the cool things that happens is when you see a young person a young person excited about what they want to be when when they get older and you, you see a young person emulating their favorite singer their favorite actor or their favorite sports figure and and the, and that's that's the driving force that's the thing that gets them motivated that's the thing that gets them answering when the teacher says what do you want to be when you grow up and I want to be a football player yes. right? or, or I want to be a, a rock star right um, and the the, the the reality is it doesn't always happen, but we have so many great opportunities that are out there for the kids, like like this Ocala's Got Talent mm-hmm. and things like that that are That's kind of along those lines. Um, one of the ones that has become very favored for us is uh, Special Olympics. We have a friend named Doug, and today's his birthday, by the way. Happy birthday, yeah, Doug. Yeah, happy listening. birthday, Doug. And I know that Doug is a big fan of Don Nottingham. <laughs> and Don Nottingham <laughs> is in the studio. In fact, Don and Doug did a, did a commercial together once. Yeah. Sometime. Really I don't know yep. if you remember that. Uh, so Don Nottingham is here. Um, Miami Dolphins and Baltimore Colts, right? Yes, sir. You, you started, in, started in Baltimore and <laughs> got, got shipped down to Miami at the start of the 73 season. Well, good morning, Don. How are you? I'm wonderful. And you brought a pretty lady with you. Maria? What's the matter? Why'd you roll your eyes at that? Mar- Maria Connie Roman is is the fundraising chair. Is that right? Yeah. Is it? For the county. Yeah. For, the, for the county. And, and we're talking today about Special Olympics. you got a couple of events you're helping out with. And Don is helping out with this as well. So. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, what we're having basically is it uh, really winds up being two events. Uh, October the 4th, uh-huh. uh, and we're playing our fourth annual uh, Marion County Special Olympics Charity Golf Tournament at Silver Spring Shores Country Club. Okay. Uh, that promises to be a, a great day and a lot of uh, a lot of good time. You for, uh, we're, we're charging still $75 ahead to play. That includes uh, golf. We're going to feed you before, during, and after the uh, event. So you're going to get the you get the great golf at a nice course. You're going to get the weather. You're going to get the uh, ability to see a few of my uh, football players that are coming up for the Friday night event that will be out there to play. Oh, nice. Um, but if you can go away from there hungry, then uh, it's shame on you. Uh, we're having, uh, we'll are have some restaurants that will be uh, offering a taste of their favorite foods, and we'll be asking all the, all the participants to vote on who they think was the best. So we call that a taste of the green. Okay. So okay. we're going to gonna move that thing through. But there'll be uh, a lot of prizes, a lot of fun, an enjoyable time. And then what we're doing different this year, Friday evening, we're, we're going to have the inaugural, uh, we're going to call it Champions for Champions. Basically, I've got about 14 or 15 guys that I played uh, with and against at uh, various times uh, in the NFL that are coming up to uh, to uh, meet with us. at We have a, the Jumbo Air Hall out, uh, out on the um, Jacksonville Road. Right, right. So we're going to have all the food, I what that's all the too. food, all the beverages. We'll have uh, photo opportunities. Just a fun kind of a free for all night. Uh, we've uh, had one of our sponsors, uh, Casino Party Planners, is now offered to set up a Texas Hold'em tournament. Oh. So we're adding a little bit of um, excitement there as a, as an option. Wow. Uh, you might be able to sit down and uh, sit at the table with somebody like uh, Mark Duper and uh, see if you can measure up to play in uh, wow. Texas Hold'em them against them so we're thinking that's going to be a lot of fun uh the, like i said the uh, the evening friday night is is uh, generating the, hopefully uh, some more cash for the special olympians we have something like 570 some kids that we've got to make sure we can get uniforms and logistics of uh, transportation and yeah. food, yeah, yeah. everything that's required and that's what we're doing here every penny that we make for this event will stay right here in marion county and we want to make it uh, as good as we can um, but I'm just uh, um, old-fashioned enough that uh, I think that every time when you're doing really good things, if you have fun while you're doing them, it just makes life a lot better. So we're going to give you, we're going to feed you well. We're going to give you opportunities for prizes. Uh, my old coach Don Shula sent me up a, a specially autographed football that I'm oh. going to probably have a oh, wow. some have an opportunity to. Might by now I'm going to be able to buy it because if it doesn't give a big enough price, I'm keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be. There you go. Uh, we'll 
we'll have uh, we'll have many opportunities like that. And like I said, it's uh, it's one hundred dollars. It's totally absolutely tax deductible because of we're five hundred one c three with uh, for the Special Olympics. And I can't stress enough that um, you're going to get your money's worth. You're going to you're going to go home fed. You're going to go home after you're hearing stories. Um, like I said, some of the guys that I play with, Larry Seipel, for example, uh-huh. you know uh, when he took off with that punt in the uh, Pittsburgh game when I was still playing for the Baltimore Colts I'm like yeah I, you know if we can't beat him I don't want anybody to beat him in my division That's the way it works. and if Larry doesn't take off with that punt in that game there is no 17 and 0 there is no perfect bell none of that stuff happens and that's the kind of guys that were uh, I was fortunate enough to get to play with and uh, I'm, I'm just proud to be associated with them Wow, it's very cool that you're doing all this. So, so let me make sure I understand it. One is the golf tournament, and one is the the poker challenge. The Ooh. poker challenge will be Friday evening. That's going to be a jumbo layer. Okay, it's um, that's from uh, basically from six, be six there? to ten. Is it Gabe Kaplan, the Welcome Back Cotter guy? Does he do poker now? The teacher, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so far, if he's going to be there, he hasn't called me. That's, uh, okay. But that'll be Friday evening, and then Saturday morning we're teeing off at nine o'clock. We'll start registering around seven or seven thirty ah, at Silver okay. Spring Shores. Okay. We'll have a. Uh, it's going to be a scrambled golf tournament uh, teeing off at nine o'clock, uh, and there'll be uh, opportunities to to get hole in ones closest to the pins, mini contests, lots of prizes, and again, food. Uh, we've got uh, lots Longhorn Steakhouse is providing lunch afterwards. Like I said, we've got four restaurants that are going to be having a taste of their favorite dish. Wow, you get to right, vote, right. and uh, they, you get to vote for the taste of the green. Who you think was the best? Um, we'll have, um, like I said, all the beverages, and uh, you, you, I think it's a um, uh, pretty well spent seventy-five bucks for a great day on the golf course. Oh, it course sounds like it sounds like a blast. And I mean, the fans that we, I, I'm sure you know this because it's part of your life. But once you Achieved that level of success. You, it, what came with it was that that group of people out there that are your fans and always will be your fans. In fact, one came in this morning. That, that yes, uh, that that always makes uh, me feel good. But you got to realize, I I played eight years in the NFL, and I was I was uh, from day one, actually from the day they drafted me. Everybody said, "Well, yeah, we you're good," but he's you know you're you're a little short and you're a little slow and you're a little small. Aww. So so I figure I you tricked threw that I, back at them. I, though. Well, I, <laughs> I tricked him. I tricked him for eight years. I'm proof. I know Wikipedia calls you the bowling ball or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah all the good. Don't you hate that? No, no. All the yeah. good nicknames were taken, but I at don't, least got a nickname. <laughs> <laughs> don't you wish you could get one of those college kids that are really good at hacking and just go to Wikipedia and just could just take out that that, that stuff? Or just actually, yeah. actually, I I am so absolutely blessed. I would not trade any of the experiences I had my entire day really in the a wonderful NFL. Guy. I mean nobody likes to get hurt I broke my shoulder blade that was pretty painful but the uh, even that I, I, I was doing everything right I yeah, did everything yeah. I could do and, and I broke my body so it, time to go home and, and get a real job you know when I see a sports guy with headphones on but without the mouthpiece it looks so weird like, right, <laughs> you need that mouthpiece I was I said to Robin we went to the, the new PDQ restaurant down yes. the road uh-huh. the, what that Tim Tebow owns I yeah. guess and they had the football game on the screen, and they had the guys in the the football announcers in the studio with their headphones with their mouthpiece. I said they're in the studio. Why do they need that? Yeah, right. It's just the look. It's it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's like it makes them look good. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> uh, this is an awesome task that you both are undertaking, though, because you have to line up all of the sponsors. You have to line up the people that will donate items, and how do you? Uh, convince them that this is really really needy because the children really do need help and they need to feel good about themselves well the first year is always hard you know because you know it's um you need to convince them that it's it's the you know um it's staying in the county and you know and that's a plus usually a lot of our local you know uh, community wants to donate to our county yeah. and this is absolutely staying in the county it's a hundred percent stay in the county we don't have administrative cost you know it's all going to special olympics athletes yeah. uh, we don't get paid to do this <laughs> so um you know but like i've been doing this for four years now the fundraising and Somehow it gets easier because some of them feels like, you know, 
I mean, I, I would get calls now from some of the sponsors and mm -hmm. you know, they want to get involved. So, I mean, I think Special Olympics is uh, you know, a very legitimate uh, fundraiser. It is. You know? so, and, yeah, and, you know. and when is the Special Olympics events? Uh, it goes all year round. Okay, but, that's what uh, I thought. The, the big event is uh, in February, which is uh, the county games. Okay. okay. Uh, we, we have that for four days. We have uh, elementary, middle school, and high school. Right. And then the adults comes the will, last. Will year. any of the kids be at any of these two events? Uh, sorry? Will any of the children, the, the, the Special Olympians... I was told not to say Special Olympians. Yeah, so what do, it, what do uh, I say? Special Olympic... Athletes. Athletes. So will any of them be at either the golf tournament or the, or the thing at Jumbo Air? Um, some of them. Actually, um, last year we had uh, several of them uh, volunteer. Oh, help. really? Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. Oh, really? And that's what we're trying to, to do with you know, our, our um, program. It's not just the sports part of it. We, we teach them life skills and, you know, um, learning how to talk to people and you know things yeah. like that but you know with very limited budget it's really hard to you know to do all this training you Don, know, did, this did, all Don, did you find special olympics or did they find you actually um I, i'm involved in this because of uh, the guy that uh, started this golf tournament the second year and a guy oh. named tracy pick okay uh, asked me to get involved and uh, and here i am but uh, my my roots for special events the special olympics goes all the way back to my rookie year with the baltimore colts the first ever oh, really the first ever uh charity charity type event that I was ever at as a professional football player and, and we didn't do much of that when I was in college so it was all new to me but I went out to the, the state games in Baltimore, Maryland and that was uh, uh, Johnny Unitas and Earl Morrow and John Mackey and Tom Maddy and like 10 of us that went out there and we handed out the, the medals for the winners and it um, oh, so, wow. so you watch a kid that, that takes, was exciting for them you watch a kid struggling for a race and he's running down there when you get in the line when you line up and put those medals around their neck and they they want it they light up like uh, i can't i can't even yeah. put it into words what a what a great feeling that was for me and i've been hooked on special olympians and i'm no i call them whatever i want that's right <laughs> What I know, right, what I know. Hey, with you. Hey. Well, I know. I like that. No, nah, Special Olympics. I'm going to tell somebody that next time. You know, Don Nottingham says whatever he wants. Well, 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 that's I'm, what, what I'm getting at, though, is they have absolutely no guile. They're so full of love and so happy yeah, sure, that, to sure, have sure. been able yeah. to compete. And they, they either love you or they don't. And it's just that simple. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. you know, you just, when you watch their faces light up, when you pin a medal uh, on around their neck or a ribbon, I've done it many, many times. Yeah. And, and the feeling never never goes away and you know uh, and Maru Maria you sort of rolled your eyes when I said you were beautiful and th <laughs> there you go yeah. again see you doing it yeah, again right, right. Well, and, and Don humble. does this Don does the same thing yeah. with with fame you just you just you don't want to acknowledge that you're famous but I, let me tell you why that's important it's, it's important to everybody you may not maybe you brush it off as no big deal but I really think first of all I think you know you are and and I think you're using that in the best way a person can. You've been given that. That's a gift. And you can use that in, in any way you want. And you're using it to help these kids. And when you're the one who puts that medal on or pins that pin on, it means so much more because it's coming from you. Actually, I walk away from every one of those hangings or pinnings. I'm the one that wins on that deal. <laughs> See that? See that? I, That's I, the yeah. same as That's rolling humble. your eyes. That's yeah. That's I, I, I absolutely walk away. I floated out of that, that first event I know, in, but in Baltimore. And I, two weeks ago, I was at a bowling event yeah. here, here in the county. <laughs> and it's the same feeling and the same result. And it, it makes you, you just makes me, feel, it makes me feel like I'm six foot two. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. I've never been accused of being over 5'10". I mean, <laughs> he's got the, he's got the giggles when he was spinning the, the you know I know so I know. he's officially the bowling uh, awardees <laughs> <laughs> because so, sometimes you see the children that are supposed to have everything they have money they've got uh, private schools they have all of their house all of their you know, everything's intact but then they come out as being very rude sometimes and feel entitled but these children they are just in it because they're genuine Genuine children and everybody around them is so genuine and they're just so appreciative but they're 
really doing great things for each of their own right. and, uh, particular abilities because they're just it's it's so great to finish a race yeah like going back to the bowling you know tournament uh last uh, last month actually um you know, I mean, you, you should see all the wheelchair-bound uh, athletes we have, I mean, barely moving, you know, but uh -huh. they have that thrill to just strike that, you know, oh. that pin, you know, and it <laughs> you was gotta amazing. Cheer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just, I just want to repeat what, what we're here mostly to talk about. I mean, I love Special Olympics. We want to make sure we promote that. By the way, do you need volunteers for this? I know it's in February, but do you need yeah. volunteers? Yeah, oh, we always need, you know, tons of volunteers because it's a four-day event. And, you know, um, like I said, we have all, over 500 athletes. So, you know, so we the, always need so volunteers. The, the, uh, Let's see, the Champion for Champions event. Let's make sure I have this right. The fourth annual Special Olympics of American Fundraising Golf Tournament, and then the Champion of Champions, right? And back to back. It's so but the, that, I said them in the wrong order, right? So decadent desserts, not delicious. We don't use the word delicious anymore. Decadent. <laughs> it sounds better than delicious, right? Yeah. Well. Is that what this is? Is this decadent? The Godiva well, chocolate? That could be. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, you know. Do you want to talk about the desserts? That, you know? uh, the desserts are going to be provided by um, a unit of the Ocala Shrine Club. Oh, really? Which is, uh, called, well, no wonder they, call they, them, they call themselves the hillbillies. <laughs> and what they do is they, uh, they will start baking at uh, the first part of the week. And there will be, um, they won't all be the same desserts, but there'll be whatever the specialty is. And that guy can be, uh, can be black forest cake. It can be pineapple upside down. It can be a, a berry pie. Wow. But Wow. The neat thing about this is 100% of the money that we give them will absolutely go to the Shrine Hospital. So now we've got we've got a, a, a relationship oh, wow. now between oh, two wow. different charities that yeah. are all caring for kids. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I'm just excited about uh, about being able to include more of the community because you know there are a lot of buckets out there that need cash put in them. So uh, what we want to do is have everybody that walks away from our events feel really good good about what they did and why they did it but we know we're, we're asking to reach in their pocket and that's uh, that's the difficult thing and so it's all about community and that's what this is mm -hmm. all about is making sure that we make this Marion County the best community we can, we can possibly do yeah, that's and that's awesome. what I was yeah. taught by my mentors early on you've got to reach out and put things back into your community where you live absolutely so do we have to play poker or can we just yeah, go and no, hang the out poker, oh. the poker is totally <laughs> optional poker is just uh, okay okay the big thing, the big thing is come and uh, come and feed your face and get your plenty feed of beverages. Your face. <laughs> uh, go around where we're setting up some um, some. Uh, uh, totally Maria poker. came up with the Hollywood style, which Photo is a shoots. posed portrait, so we can get those done. We'll have photographers oh, there nice. to do that. Um, are you able to name names? Like, can you drop some names of sure. people yeah. that uh, are listeners? The guys, that are, the guys that are coming for sure. Uh, I've got Larry Seipel that I told you about. Okay. Uh, Fred Stokes. Fred played for the for the Giants and. He's uh, got a Super Bowl ring. Um, Kenny Green played for the Rams. Uh, James Jones played at University of Florida and also played for the Raiders and the, and the Packers. Uh, Mark Duper, you might know him as Super Duper. Super Duper, yeah, I've heard of that guy. Here. Um, one, of the, uh, one of our linemen that played down there for them is... Um, uh, uh, Roy Foster, uh, Jim Hart called me from. Uh, he's come all, all the way up from Naples. Jim Hart played 17 years in the NFL, oh, wow. mostly for the Cardinals. He's a super guy and a wow. good quarterback. Um, some guys that are older, uh, uh, like Don Nottingham, and, uh, Tom Herder, <laughs> and Bo Gero, and yeah. you know, not necessarily the superstars in the league, but these guys were kind of like the glue that held almost every team together. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. And so it, it, it uh, so, promises to be a fun night. The stories you're going to hear will be pretty darn interesting. Is it, and do, do you do you hear those stories at like a sitting while somebody's at a mic, or are you going table to table? How you we'll probably how you interact? We'll, we'll, we'll probably kind of um, we'll open it up if somebody has a question they want to ask a specific answer. Oh, that's cool. We'll let them do that and get them give them their their feelings about what it was like. These guys are all guys that were down in the trenches and in, in the locker rooms. Oh and, man, and they've, um, and the stories are uh, immensely interesting. And uh, mm -hmm. um, I know the older I get, the faster I am. <laughs> well, you yourself are a mentor, Don, even even though you, you might not acknowledge that, but 
just by going out into the community and doing this. And Maria, you yourself also, you both will influence others to take some time out of their day to go for a cause and to help bring awareness because you have to have the awareness before you can have the funds. That's, that's the most important thing is the awareness of, you know, can we, why Special Olympics is here, you know. Can we talk about the different levels of sponsorship so that people understand this is, so it's $100 if you just want to go, but you could also be a sponsor, right? Right. And uh, and do you still need that or do you have it, it's all filled up? We, we no. always, we'll, we'll never have enough to make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a couple of different levels. Do you want to address that? You got a, a, the low level is 650 for a table, right? All right. Am I understanding this right? You have that. Yeah, in the uh, for the Friday evening thing, um, we've got just a couple of different sponsorships. Uh, we will we will make a, a reserve table that'll put you right up by where all the all the football players are going to be most of the night. Okay. Uh, so you can have your seats up there, um, and then we've, we're going to with premier sponsor and then a, again a night presenting sponsor. So we've got twenty five hundred dollars and a thousand, and those. Anything that's above the uh, table sponsor will include spots in the Texas Hold'em tournament, um, you know, as needed. Oh wow! Okay. Uh, so the whole idea is to have fun and move this thing through. Um, but it's uh, still still just about. And do they call Maria to, to sign up, or do you have a website? Yeah. How do um, they do this? Well, we have a website, or um, you, they could call four six two zero three eight zero. Okay. Or they can could email us at s o f l. Marion fr at gmail.com okay and uh, we'll put that on Facebook Robin is writing it down and we'll, of course we have these flyers here so we can do that so go to the WOC Facebook page I know you're driving you can't write all this down uh, or just call us we'll be glad to repeat it so that's that's for the, for the Friday and the, and the Saturday golf tournament you said that was $75 $75 a person or $300 for a team we have flag sponsors and hole sponsors okay, available okay. also okay. Um, we'll be closing out the Friday evening thing uh, on the 19th after the 19th it's whatever we've got it's what we're going to go with Okay. Uh, more important that we have a real high quality event we want it to be as well done as i can be and we'll decide uh, right then what it is champions for champions this is the inaugural year of doing it and next year we, oh, we, this can, is... we can build it up and make it even uh, even bigger and stronger and uh, this year i used only football players that i know next year we'll probably open it up to f a few other sports and get um, you know when you get baseball players and football players <laughs> and hockey players right, right. in the same room the rivalry <laughs> start happening yeah. the, one, the, the enjoyment actually it goes up because the guys always tend to pick at each other and, uh, oh. so it's just kind of the nature of the beast it's all in good good spirits and uh, and good fun but uh, it uh, makes life uh, it makes an interesting evening now do you, do, do you want any singers like Bobby Goldsboro who lives in the area or, or or Travolta lives right there you can knock on his door hey you want to come out and play yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we always invite anyone who wants we, to. Uh, we accept uh, we we accept appearances from anybody. Uh, that's what I say. I'm I'm like one of the guys that shows up because because uh, you need they need a spot filled. But uh, anybody that's got a name. And we'll use it. But what we're trying to do is not forget what our Robin bottom line is. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, those kids don't want us to pin. <laughs> they don't want us to uh, put a medal on. The number one goal, the number one goal here is to is to create enough spendable dollars so that the, the people that are running our special Olympics right, right. for the next year have the cash to do it. And that's what it, they promised me. It's really cool. In the county. And now um, if we can make sure we take that, that's one headache that uh, they don't have to put up with. So if we have any NFL stars out there that are listening and they'd like to join you. Oh, absolutely. There's there's probably guys around here that I don't know about. I've tried to search I know. out. Some of the guys, though, uh, you try not to bother them because it is football season. Quite a few of them have, uh, have radio uh, commitments and and some a lot of them coach. Right, right, a lot of them right. are coaching either right. high school that Friday night or Saturday mm -hmm. with the Pop Warners and cannot make it. So the, uh, I never complain about that because they're putting their time in and they're sure. doing what they're supposed to do. Sure. So, uh, you know, you, uh, if you miss anybody, you, it's not, not on purpose. It's, is, is it, a, it sounds like it's as much fun for you, though, as it is for us. Well, we make sure, uh, as one of my rules is no matter what I'm doing, if it's got to do with charity, uh, we're going we're gonna to have glitches. We're going to have little uh, bumps right, in the road. Right. Let's just push them aside and get it done. We can't change it this year. We'll fix it next year. But let's have fun. Let's keep a positive attitude. And let's laugh and smile and, and celebrate what we're after. Absolutely. If we yeah. 
lose a couple of dollars because we made a mistake, well, then, then next year we'll fix that. I think it's a win-win every wow. every way. Uh, Don Ottingham, thank you for coming thank in. You. Thank, thank you, you for much. having us. Thank and Maria you. Connie Roman, thank you. Thank you thank again. Thank you for coming in. Thanks again. Call us if you need any of that repeated. Robin will put as much of it on Facebook as we can. And, uh, and, and again, thank you for what you're doing. We will take a break. Be right back. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Karen McHugh. While the Secretary of State's in Paris working to build a coalition to take on ISIS, the Justice Department's working to keep Americans from joining the terror group. Attorney General Eric Holder announcing a series of pilot programs to deal with American extremists. To develop more effective and more inclusive ways to build the more just, secure, and free society that all Americans deserve. The program will include local religious leaders and law enforcement. Fox Radio's Jaron Halpern. Another black eye for the NFL. Carolina Panthers defensive end Greg Hardy was benched for Sunday's game against Detroit over a July conviction for assaulting his girlfriend. Teammate Jason Avant hopes Hardy can bounce back. He's just hoping that he can rebound and um, learn from this experience and, um, you know, um, become a better person. Hardy is appealing the conviction. NSA leaker Edward Snowden charges the agency is gathering mass surveillance data on New Zealanders. Fox News, we report, you decide. Worn out shocks and struts make your car handle like a banana boat being towed by a super tanker. Fix that pavement pontoon now and get four qualifying Napa or Rancho shocks and struts for the price of three with a mail-in rebate offer. So stop sloshing around and conquer the job with Napa know-how. Mail-in rebate offer for Visa prepaid card in the amount of the lowest cost unit at participating Napa Auto Parts stores. Offer expires 10-31-14. At the Home Depot, buy one or more pallets of GAF Royal Sovereign three-tab shingles and save up to 20%. Let's raise the roof, but lower the cost with bulk pricing on GAF, America's number one shingle, featuring advanced protection technology. This is worth shouting from the rooftops. Let's do this. Up to 20% off one or more pallets of select GAF shingles. More saving. More doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Valid through September 17th, U.S. only, see store. Today in Florida Ag News, I'm a Southeast Agnet. There are many cotton growers who sometimes wonder what the purpose of the various groups are within the cotton industry. Well, when it comes to Cotton Incorporated... 